Well, it's important. We talk all the time about being the best uh, intercollegiate athletics program in the country, and last spring we were. And I think we saw a lot of the recognition and excitement for the success that we experienced, and now it's time to carry that over into the fall. And you know, football season always brings a, a level of optimism, but it feels different this year. And I'm as excited as anybody to get the season kicked off. You mentioned earlier about it feels different, and it does, from my perspective, feel different. But from you, with all the success that Texas Tech enjoyed in the spring, how has it changed? How has it benefited the Red Raider program? Well, as I as I go throughout the country, you know, the national media, the regional media, will come up and compliment and congratulate Texas Tech on the success that we've had. Conference commissioners throughout the country, when I see them at various meetings, come up and congratulate us on the success. So it grows our brand, it grows our recognition. And in today's world, uh, that is so critical, that is so important as we look to the future of college athletics that Texas Tech continues to grow our brand to where it's recognized as one of the strongest college athletic brands in the nation. For you, what will make a successful Matt Wells first game in your mind? Um, 60,000 in the stadium and a 60-point win. We'll make a successful season, first season. <laughs> you know, I've, I've always said that uh, I, I stopped short of saying this win mark would be a successful season. I, I would say you, you want to see progress. And so you might ask, what, what would progress be? You know it when you see it. And I think you have to wait to get to the end of the season to, to look at the complete body of work from this football team this year, but uh, I think uh, I look for progress and I think we'll all know when we see that. This is kind of a general question, but how is season ticket sales going for football and ticket sales in general? Yeah, season ticket sales are going well. We're uh, approximately 47,000 season tickets sold. Um, you know, it's been consistent every year when you have uh, a home schedule that doesn't have Oklahoma or Texas, you see a slight dip. And, you know, this year's been no different than the previous years. We're about 2,500 season tickets below where we are. We were this time last year, but I'll tell you that uh, the volume of traffic into our ticket office in the past uh, five to seven days has been extremely high and we're going to continue to push and uh, a lot of ticket opportunities out there. And I'm, I'm confident that when this community sees the product that they're going to see on the field in 11 days that they'll want to come out and support this program like the Red Raider Nation has for every one of our other athletic programs. Kirby, you mentioned being in the Bahamas with the basketball team. You know, of course, uh, just chemistry was such a big part of that, that run last year. What's the chemistry like with all these new guys in the Bahamas? It's excited. I, I tell you, I enjoyed it. I, I stayed five days and enjoyed being around the new guys and, and some of the new staff members and getting to know them. A terrific group of young men on that basketball team, very talented. Uh, Coach Beard will do what Coach Beard does best, and that's uh, mold that culture and the chemistry on that roster. And I tell you, we, we, we got a chance to uh, uh, have another exciting basketball season ahead of us. So it was, it was a lot of fun to be around the guys and to, to watch them play. It's, it's got the potential to be an exciting season. You mentioned some of the facility updates. What's the status of the south end zone update? Where's that in the works? Yeah, so we've completed 23 of the 25 projects. Um, three, I have to mention three of the remaining five when you ask about the south end zone. The first step will be relocation of all the offices that are in the south end zone over to the east side of the facility. Um, in Jones AT&T Stadium, we're working on that. We're working on the fundraising. We're getting close. Uh, we have floor plans developed. We've got to finish the fundraising there, but that'll be the first step. Then we'll relocate all the football staff out of the football training facility to the south end zone while we renovate and expand the football training facility. Same thing, we're, we're close, we're working on design of that, we're working on fundraising. And once we finish that project, we'll be able to turn our attention to the south end zone. We have some, um, some initial des uh, design development concepts, but we've got some work to do on that. But that the south end zone is really the third piece of a three-piece puzzle with the east side build out the football training facility project and then the south end zone. Is there any kind of timeline projection? I know you got to wait on the funding, but is there any kind of timeline in place, idea? Uh, it's all dependent upon the funding. Uh, there are plans that we continue to work on and have conversations around. And, uh, you know, I, I hope by the time we get through this fall, we'll have funding identified for the east side and be well into the funding of the football training facility.